Hello everybody and welcome back to The Average. I'm Steph, I'm The Average Artist and today we're going to be painting on some bottles. I received these bottles after ordering some drinks online and I thought they were so cool and I wanted to repurpose them for watercolours. So what I do a lot is I save a lot of jars that I use because they're quite good for painting with because you need to have some water on the side and they're not so special that you don't want to wreck them because you can wreck them because they're repurposed. I'm going to make some designs for these ones and use them as maybe watercolour jars to have on the side. I thought that would be a really cool and fun idea, so let's get into it. Today I will be using my Molotow markers because I've been really into using them recently and I just thought they would be really nice to try and use on some glass for once. You know, their actual intended purpose which is multimedia like glass, plastic, all those things. So let's see how they work out against paper. And by paper, of course, I mean glass. See how they work out better than paper, is what I meant to say. <laughs> I started out by covering the bottle up with some masking tape because I knew that I wanted the central bit to be completely equal and easy to draw on because I did not want to draw this label on so underneath this I painted a layer of white because this is going to be the milk for our milk bottle that we're creating and if you haven't guessed by the music we are creating Lon Lon milk from Zelda and I've always wanted to try and do this because I always thought that was a really cute accessory to have around because I love Zelda and I just thought it would be nice to own something like this and it's awesome because it's functional as well because I'll be able to use it with my watercolouring and gouache paintings and stuff etc. I started to realise that it worked better when I was painting up and down on the bottle vertically rather than horizontally because it just went on smoother which is something that I learned along the way so like a little bit of the bottle looks better than the rest but if you don't look closely you can't really tell because it's just a layer of white. I then peeled off all the tape to reveal where the label will go and I think this looks really cool, it's quite a cool effect of block of colour and then just see through so I might play around with doing something like this in the future with the other bottles that I have. I got the right colour of the blue for the label and then I went round with trying to make an even line here which I was holding my breath for but if you just focus on trying to keep the same distance from the line on the side then you can kind of see where you're going and try to keep it parallel with that then you can make a straight line. I did a little bit of an underlayer of this drawing because I was nervous to do it but here's the little cow's face which is the main label of the design and I was quite nervous to draw on this but even though with Molotovs you can kind of layer it up I think on glass it doesn't work as well so I was trying to get it right the first time where I could. Then I just decided to do like these characters here instead of English and I think it makes it just seem a bit more fantastical and I really like the way that they looked so I went with this and I think it looks really cool in the end. It's a very simple design but maybe it's a little bit difficult to pull off but I think in the end it looks okay. It's a little bit wonky but I kind of like it and I really enjoyed this process. It was quite nice to just sit and listen to podcasts whilst making this little bottle of milk and I think it came out really nice in the end. Next up I took another bottle and I decided to keep the label on this one because I thought it could help to be used as a little template and so I started off by colouring a pink and then slightly dabbing off the colour to have this kind of faded pink colour effect and I think it works really nicely, I think it looks really cool with the, the bottle and I decided to do a different colour underneath so we have this gradient of pink to light blue which you'll see in a moment but I really like the way that this looks like faded glass you know when you have like beach 
you find a piece of glass on the beach and it's kind of faded like that that looks really cool i like that style so i think this fits for this bottle it's kind of not really based on anything it was more of a design to have kind of a, a witchy vibe where you know you have like a potion or something i decided i wanted to do something like that i was going to do something from harry potter like maybe like a uh, truth serum or something like that but in the end i just decided to go with this kind of cool like 90s aesthetic uh witchy vibe thing and i think it turns out really cool in the end i really like this one it was very simple as well i just went for it and it's quite a quick design to do and i think if you guys are bored at home and you have jars laying around and you have maybe pots Oscar pens or you know any of these types of paint pens this is a really fun project to just get stuck into and especially like if we're artists everybody needs a thing of water on the side so it's cool to have a little bit of a customized thing to use i think these look nice together anyway and then yeah i went around where the label was because i peeled it off it looked cool and me so i decided to just leave that glass peeking through and then i went around the label with the white pen which was quite easy because there was a bit of a lip where the paint was so it was just easy to trace around where the label had been I decided to do like a little moon at the top and then like an eye and stuff maybe this is like a witch's potion and they can buy in a shop and it brings you luck or something I don't know I really like the style of this I think it's kind of cute and yeah I was just having fun with designing this I didn't really plan it out too much I jotted down some ideas in my sketchbook but it's kind of freehand and a little bit more fun than basing it off something well, not more fun, but a little more free than basing it off uh, the design from Zelda, like the previous one. Yeah, so I ended up with just a simple little design here for this one and added some stars and things. And I think it really looks cute and it works out. And just jotting little things here and there, whatever I wanted. I needed to seal these things so I have some matte varnish from uh, Chris's Warhammer stuff so I decided to try and use that and I tested it on a bottle before and it worked. And then I started to use it on these ones and it did tear up the paint a little bit in certain areas where I was a bit too heavy on the on the actual varnish. I think I needed to be it needed to be more watery but where it does work it seems to add a layer of like a gloss and then it dries and it turns to like quite a matte color for the witchy one it was a bit of a disaster because it kind of really brought up all the pink paint but once I kind of got over that disaster I just went with it and I ended up kind of leaning into this mistake so now the paint looks a little bit blurred as if it is part of the glass and it's all kind of running down and a bit messy but I kind of liked it which is a weird thing to say so in the future I'm going to experiment with using that matte varnish with Molotov pens painting onto the glass because I felt like it gave a really cool effect um, if you can see here it's kind of like a faded muted color of what it was before and it looks like it's been made with the glass and I do like that I like I think it looks really cool so it was kind of a happy accident there I just went over and redid bits that kind of were lost during this scary process and added bits here and there and I think it looks pretty sweet overall and yeah I think I would do that again I would use that gloss varnish but maybe now I know what went wrong I can uh, fix it before it happens again Okay, so there we go. Those are the final results. And whoosh, those are the final results. And obviously it wasn't without some hiccups along the way, but I'm really pleased with the overall outcome. And I'm happy to use these later on with my watercolors and just using it to clean my brush and get some water and stuff. And yeah, I really like these. They look very homemade, but that's kind of the appeal of them, I think. So what do you guys think? It's a fun little craft to do. And yeah, something a little bit different for this channel, maybe. And yeah, that's it. Please like and subscribe for more content. And I will see you next time, guys. Bye.